Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just wanted to make a video showing the different portals for Skylander. This portal is the portal for the 3DS. You open it up right there, and you put some, you know, batteries in it. Now, this portal I like because you just push down on it. And it lights up. On the back of the portal, there's a mini USB to USB cable you can plug in if you wanted to hook it up to a PC. And that right there. There's a little sensor that you use to aim the sensor on the 3DS to um, get it to show up in game. You know, you point the 3DS at the sensor and show up. So you take your Skylander. This is the extra stuff off I have that came with the 3DS. And you just put it on there, push it down. And that's how small that stuff off is. Just see if you try to take like another Skylander and put two on there. It's kind of impossible to fit two. Um, you could fit a magic item on there if I can find one real quick. Uh, yeah, figures I can never find them when I want to find one. Now you see in the portal, just shut off. You just tap it, and it turns back on. Now the reason why it shuts off like that is because once you load a Skylander in the 3DS, there you go. See if you turn them just right, you can fit two of them on there. Now once you load a toy into the 3DS, it's loaded into the game whether you turn the game off or not. Every time you turn the game on, two Skylanders will be saved in the game. Then you can just switch in between you know, the two while you're playing. And if you want to actually switch to a new different Skylander, you actually got to you know, put a new Skylander on the portal. And switch out the one that you already have loaded up in the game. So you just take your toy, and, whoop, and that's it. This cord is if you wanted to hook it up to the PC to play the online Spyro Universe game. So let me go ahead and put my Skylanders back in the box. And I'll go ahead and show you the other portals. This portal is the PC portal. It has a wire on it. It is a really lightweight portal. It's like hollow. There's like no weight to it whatsoever. It requires no batteries. And it's, it's just lightweight. It has the same markings as the other, you know, portal. See, same markings. They're identical, just this one is hollow, has the USB cord already attached, and this one has batteries in it. Push a button and it lights up. This one don't light up unless you've got power running to it. Now when you lift it up, see it takes batteries. Right here, this thing is what you plug into the PS3 to sync it, just like on Activision Guitar Hero games. You gotta plug this into your PS3, push this button. 
push that button to pair it and it pairs them. Now I don't like how when you store this in here and if you put the back on and you screw that screw to um you know tighten it so it don't fall off you're gonna have to unscrew that next time you want to get that little piece back out of there but this portal is heavy because it has batteries you know it has actual stuff inside it like batteries and all that stuff this one really lightweight this is a sturdy one and this little one is not not as heavy as this one but it's a lot lighter than that one and if you put these on top of each other these two are the same size but this one you can see is smaller and that's just a look at the different portals now I guess the Xbox 360 portal is probably the same as PS3 portal That is the three portals that I have. This one, the PS3, PC, and 3DS. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, this is just a small review of the three different portals.